cultural education, the topic what did it cut? But wait, I still ask myself why two thirds of the literacy population in Africa is poor. My name is Bochaberi Cynthia, I'm in Form 4 in Uburu Girls, and I'm, I consider myself among the lucky girls. Actually, no, let me say extremely lucky girls from my community to have been able to access secondary school education. This, this is because I come from a community back in Nyamira County in a place known as Bumawacho, Gitari, a place where I believe that civilization has not reached, where there is so much discrimination, especially against the girl child education. I mean, at, at a tender age such as 13, when a girl is developing and is supposed to be counseled into womanhood, she's seen as someone who's supposed to be already married in order to bring in dowry. Another challenge that arises, we find that with all the developments that are coming with adolescents and all that, health education is not made accessible uh, to these students. And you also find that we are having only one dispensary that is supposed to be serving the people. So there is no one who is going to see that there is an essence of trying to serve the girl child teacher about hygiene and all that. So you find that uh, there are so many diseases that are going to arise due to unhygienic conduct, especially during menses and all that. And another challenge I find is the distance that they have to cover in order to get to school. This is because we have one public uh, primary school. Now the existence of one public primary school and even secondary school means that they have to travel from so far in order to access this school. But as, as well as we know that distance comes with its own risks, we have very high rates of rape cases leading to early pregnancies and school dropouts. There is also infection of uh, diseases, sexually transmitted infections, and the stigma that comes with it because at the end of it all, everyone wants to blame you, everyone wants to ask why is a girl child bothering with education, if you had stayed at home you would be pure by now, and all that. So in fact, the victim becomes perceived as the villain. So I believe that by in ensuring that we establish more schools in such places, we will be able to ensure that the girl child does not have to cover such a distance and meet such challenges. I also believe that if there were health services that were brought closer to the people, we would also be able to get to give our health education. And the biggest factor is also change society's mindset on how they view the girl child, not just to someone who's supposed to be married, but someone who is supposed to be, to be educated to improve society. In Barack Obama's own words, I dare say that I have the audacity of hope that one day society will remember that education to a girl child is the empowerment of a